All right, Kenman here <laughs> today. Die Project 29, round two, right. Here we are, Kubi Raven ready to go. Not wasting time. In they go, boom. I want to splash them around, make sure they don't have any air bubbles on them. And as you can see, we're going with the dark red. We're the Kubi Raven today. I don't know why this red's so chunky. Look at how chunky that is. It, it worked out fine before. But this liquid dye mixed with liquid water makes chunks. <sighs> okay, whatever. It's all good. We're doing it. Happening. It's in. Process has begun. Red goes fast. Uh, but white scales also are thick. But the... Uh, let's go ahead and grab it. The Vision FG... I did this in red. This was in the dye for one minute. One minute total, and we got this red. That was a couple months ago. It's been holding up really good. I've been using it, been beating it a little bit, and it's uh, holding solid. Let's go ahead and see what's happening. Wow, all right, look at that, huh? Stuff is going. Why is it so chunky? I just don't like that. As long as it doesn't leave me with a chunk, chunky surface at the end, I'll be fine. Although we haven't gotten a chunky surface yet, maybe that would look really cool. Alright, we are doing things. That is in, that is solid. How is everyone doing today? Let's shift over here a little bit. Oh, if I can keep my tripod from falling over. Okay, uh, I grabbed a couple. Here's that Suncut Acumen. I really love the laser mark on the blade on this. This was that salmon kind of red is what I'm calling it. It's the only one I did in this. This was the one I was trying to do hot pink. Ended up salmon. I'm not upset with it. I really like the way it actually turned out. Here's that second KDK trifecta. I did the laser mark on the blade right there. Did the uh, anodizing on the clip. Notice how it's kind of blue and then it's kind of purple. Kind of did it in that transitional color. And then we also, ooh, I almost cut myself there. Um, we also did the scale dye. Kind of with this dark, tried to make it dark green. The greens have been giving me, yeah, I don't know if I'd say issues, but not consistent green. It's definitely, they usually tend to be a little more gray. This knife is great. The old Migron Pegos. Let's go take a look. We don't want to wait too long. Wow. How fun is that? Okay. I'm going to move some stuff over and we're going to do a rinse test. Um, let's get everyone caught up. If you haven't watched one of these before, I took the knife apart. Um, bing! Right there. Sorry if you missed part one. That's part one. Uh, we took the thing apart. Uh, off camera, I wash the scales really good to try to remove any oil or dirt or stuff that will cause the dye to be inconsistent. And so I did that off camera. And then we started up here and you saw I threw them right in. Wow, this is looking great already. Doesn't that look like a guitar? Old school Flying V guitar. All right, this is looking fantastic, but I definitely want it darker red. So we're going back in. All right, strip, strip, strips. Shimmy, shimmy. Boom, okay. Like I said before, when you put it in there and they're dry, you don't want any air bubbles on there because those air bubbles can be a pocket that the dye is not hitting if you want a uniform color. Kind of want to splash them around, make sure they're nice and coated evenly. Once you're in there once, it's, they're pretty much wet, so they're good to go. But I'm forced to have it. Got to shake them around while I talk. 
Okay, let me dry my hands off. We'll scoot these over. We can look at a couple knives that are on deck to get done. Actually getting caught up for a while. I had so many that were waiting on deck to be done. But now we have 29 of them almost done. What about 15? I know. To be totally honest, I've been so busy that the channel's been really fun. But uh, I'm like four, five, six videos ahead. And then I'm trying to stay on target. And it's just, it's fun. It's crazy. But I keep rolling forward and I keep forgetting to go back and get back to die 15. I will. This was the second talisman that I got. Uh, the first one I did a trifecta in. This is a great little knife as well. Oh, geez. Can't flick it open though. Um, Migron makes some cool stuff. Uh, this one does have a pocket clip that you can be swapped to the titanium one. So I'll probably do that like I did with the last one. This uh, Kaiser LP. Ooh. It's got some good action. What color do you want to see that one? Got the Civivi Cache. Ugh. Really thinking this one's going to be dark red as well. I really like the way extra little details there on the bolster. Extra little dots inside the square. Really cool knife. Civivi Cache. We've got this big Sencut Glide Strike. What color do you want to see this one? This one's got a real nice big blade. Got some good action. Look at that drop. Boom. Yeah. And I always forget this one. Sencut Episode. Episode. It's got that crazy looking blade. Cool shape. Oh, there's my lefty. Liner lock fail. Don't get it around far enough to whip it down. Nice stuff. Excited to get those going. What color do you want to see on those? Please comment below. I'd love to get some feedback. See what everybody wants to see. Um, if you haven't seen right there, I do have all my other die um, project knives, or most of them anyway. I'm gonna. I have them up for sale. They are all super well priced, below what the retail would be if you were to buy it brand new right now. Um, I did not mark them up for the uh, the custom work that I did or the additional labor or time or anything like that. Here's a quick scan and pan. Look at all those colors. But yeah, most of those are now available for uh, sale. I do not need to sell them. I do not need to make the money on it. But uh, I, I do want to... Uh, get them into some hands of some people that might want them and then I want to use that money specifically to buy more knives for the channel that's it I don't need the money for other things I just want to continue to buy knives continue to grow with the channel I can afford it I don't need that I will continue to buy knives either way but they are knives that I got that I've kind of gone through. Some of them I want to keep, some of them I'm not worried about. Or if I want to keep them, I can get another one and do another project to that. And then get some custom out to some people. What's everyone think about that? Uh, I did do it right after Christmas and I got, I swear I got about a dozen messages. Every single one of them said, oh, timing. I just bought a bunch of knives for Christmas. I got to wait for a little while. I get it. If you're ready and you are interested, let me know. Sorry, I'm back and forth here. I don't know what to, what to do. We gotta wait another minute or two here. Kind of ready to just pull those out and get going on it. <clears throat> I did revisit the Phineas. Tried to darken this one up a little bit. They uh, now sell the Phineas and several others from Kubi. Uh, this is a D2, but you can now get them in 14C28N. I think I might upgrade that. Oh. Geez, which one do we want to look at? Anyone? Anyone? Here's that other uh, Migron I was talking about. So that's what it looks like with that upgraded pocket clip. This was that first trifecta. Great little knife. Been really uh, going crazy on the Kaisers. Oh, look at that fail. Kaiser lately has been really caught my attention. Purchased several uh, recently. If you haven't checked them out, watch some of those videos. They're just, they're great knives. Uh, they've got some really good quality, good drop action. 
That's the Kaiser Amicus. I've had that one for a while. Really fantastic. You know I love my CJRBs. This is why. All right, CJRB Lago. Just flawless, works great. Die turned out really good. All right, it's time, Kenman. Oh. Die Project 29, I tell you. Oh, I spilled on my towel. That's why I got a black towel. What's going on here? Okay, so what else have I not said to people that are be new? Um, yeah, when I stick it in that water, it does completely neutralize the dye. It's dying right now, and you can see how thick it is when I'm holding them like this. When you switch to the water, it rinses that off. It neutralizes it, basically stops it from doing its work. And it rinses it off so you can kind of see what color you're looking at. Oh, yes. We are rock and roll, everybody. And I mean rock and roll, the Flying V guitar. All right, make sure you don't have any um, dye on your hands or little drips. If you're bringing that out and a little drip hits you right here and you don't notice it and then you go brush that against your cheek or your shirt or something, whatever you touch will permanently be that color. Dye, it's crazy how if you want it to dye, it can take a while. And if you don't want it to dye, it will go immediately. <laughs> That's just the way of the the way of the world, right? Okay, I'm trying to move some stuff out of my way. Find my wa wiping off towels. Got some towels that have gotten some color from the processes that we've been going through here on the channel. Ooh, look at this! Excellent, excellent, nice dark red we get in here. All right, I'm going to get the water out of our world, put it out of my way so I don't kick it, spill everywhere. I'm going to turn the dye off. Um, so yeah, the dye is a liquid writ dye that I use. Um, I usually use about, it's like two ounces of the liquid dye and maybe 20 ounces of water to make this bath. And then I save that in a container and I can use it again over and over and over again. Um, so the dye is fairly inexpensive, three, four, five bucks for some dye that you can just use over and over and over. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, I did talk to someone that they, uh, they mentioned that they were getting a lot of bleeding with one that they had done. And it certainly can. They said they were wiping it off. Sorry, quick rinse of my hands here. They were wiping it off with alcohol. And the alcohol was kind of bringing up some color. And that honestly does not surprise me. You are adding a liquid dye to a, like a G10 scale here. It's soaking in, but it's not soaking completely through. And it is still kind of there. So, you know, I get it. Alcohol kind of, alcohol is alcohol. It, it wipes off things. It's if you have uh, stains on your hands or stains on something, it, it helps take that off. So I can see how if you were to do that, it would kind of maybe bring some up a little bit. That is something to consider. I have several that I've carried quite a bit. And I kind of looked at my pockets to see am I getting any discoloration or anything like that. And I did not notice anything. Um, doesn't mean it can't happen, but it is something to think about. All right. I got some bright light going right over here, so it definitely, my eye looks darker red than this lighting here. Uh, it's just a little bit brighter on camera, which is fine. My eyes, it definitely has a little bit darker, deeper color, which I'm quite excited about. This looks really, really good. Now I'm just gonna make sure I get them really dry, just because if we put this back together and there's some moisture in there that were to kind of get in between the pivots or up into a screw or something and then maybe slowly kind of corrode that area, if that's avoidable, by just making sure you get everything nice and dry, you can see I'm getting a little color on there. But again, we're still wiping it off. It's still wet, so you're, you are going to definitely see that. 
Okay. If you have not seen, I am doing another giveaway on the channel. Channel has been growing. It's been fun, really exciting. Uh, getting moving towards 2,000 subscribers, and I've given a few knives away. I want at 200, one at 500, one at 1,000. I was going to do another one at 1,500, but I can tell you it happened so fast. We're already at 17. It's been less than a month since I did the thousand, or about a month since I did the thousand giveaway. And I'm very appreciative of everyone. It's it's great interacting with everyone in the community and just bouncing ideas off of each other and just making the content, having fun. I'm having a blast, I tell you what. Okay, let's bring this in. Get her back together. Tighten up our work surface a little bit here. All right, 16 minutes, okay. I noticed when I took this Kubi apart that the frame kind of held together. So ultimately I just left it. They're pretty much complete right here already, which is kind of a nice convenient set up. Let me see if I can sneak under there without those falling out. Okay. See how easy I can make this on myself. So this is not, this is my pocket clip side. So I'm going to put one screw. Wait a minute, I, I put that in the wrong spot. Where's that going to go? Okay. Sorry. Talking out loud. Wait. Thinking to myself, what? I don't know. Yeah, might as well. Just figure if I get this side started a little bit, kind of help hold it together. While we go. Maybe it'll be a little easier on a on the rebuild. Maybe not. We're finding out. Okay, blade time. Let's get these. I had the bearings kind of sitting up on the blade so that they were not sitting on the put that on the other way. Sorry, it's tough to not talk or talk and <laughs> okay. That's the weird part is because of that. I kind of had to get those in there. Okay. This is a captive pivot, so it has to go in on this side. Gonna be careful because that is a blade. We do not want to accidentally cut ourselves. Okay, almost through. I knew this was going to give me a little bit of a issue just because of the frame staying stuck together like that. All right, we're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, yeah, this looks cool. I just kind of stopped and looked at what the knife looks like. It's great. Okay, let's get this pivot started. As I always say in the videos, I don't tighten everything down right away. When you put a knife back together, you got to be careful about centering. So you want to tighten it up kind of evenly, uniform, keep that blade centered. And if you don't, you can loosen everything up and go back and fix it. But if you pay attention while you do it, you can just kind of take care of it all at once. So I'm going to close that blade and I'm going to crank the pivot all the way down. Oops. That sucks. Come on. 
Of course, this pivot is a captive. I gotta hold it in there tight, push it this way so it doesn't rotate on me because it, it kind of got a little loose. I've done that before. And then it's not lined up like it is right now. Come on, why? Are we doing this to me today? There we go. Just did not want to sit in that space. There we go. All right, all right. I apologize. Okay, now that's tightened completely. I'm gonna go back and tighten all these. That's weird. Is that spinning freely? Mm-hmm. Quite a design. Spin one on the side, and then the other side was spinning with it, so it wasn't tightening. Okay, now we are cranked down. Make sure everything's good and tight. Now I can loosen the blade a little. Bring it back to center. Maybe that's a little too much. Blade is centered. Oh. <laughs> Getting good at that. I need to, we need to call that something. What is that called? The lefty fail, click, click it, tick it, stick it. All right. We made it. What are we at? 22 minutes hello everyone i would like to introduce you to my brand new kubi raven oh look at that red oh yes okay oops flicks out still not a weird angle the the what is this thing called uh <laughs> my tripod's right in front of me if i come over to this side there it is, in its glory, red. Like I said, this light coming down is a little hot. Um, it's That is a little bit more true to color right there than this. It's so bright, it's kind of washing it out, kind of making it look a little bit brighter red than it is. It's actually a little bit more dull than that. Definitely kind of got that blood red kind of look that I was going for. Very happy. Boom, action feels nice. Flicks out good. Slap shut good. Mm. Happy days. All right. Kubi Raven with the la, 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 la. blood red handle complete. Die Project 29 in the books. What's everyone think? I love it. God, this knife is super cool. I can't wait to carry this more. This is one of the ones. Oh, see, there it is. What do we call that? Um, this is the one that's been sitting in a pile for a while and haven't had a chance to really kind of carry it around and enjoy it And now I do Very excited That is going to be it for today If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more Helps me out and I really appreciate it Stay sharp We'll see you soon